Russia, which has repeatedly threatened NATO, may target Sweden to gain control of the Baltic Sea, Swedish Defense Minister Paul Johnson said in an interview with Polish newspaper Rezes Pospolita. Johnson emphasized that while the Russian armed forces are primarily focused on the war in Ukraine, with their offensive progress being mediocre, the Kremlin is still ready to take significant military and political risks. Russia poses a threat to Sweden and other NATO members, and we cannot rule out a Russian attack on our country, Johnson said, noting that Sweden is significantly increasing its defense investments. In response to the Russian threat, Sweden is implementing an ambitious program to expand its naval fleet. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the military and commercial significance of the Baltic Sea has grown for the Kremlin, so we must consider Russia's aggressive intentions in our military plans, Johnson stated. He also pointed out that while Russia has moved some amphibious forces from the Baltic to the Black Sea, its naval fleet in St. Petersburg and Kaliningrad remains largely intact. Johnson stressed that supporting Ukraine is the best investment in security, adding, it must win this war as Ukraine serves as a European shield against further Russian aggression. His concerns align with those of Michael Clayson, commander of the Swedish armed forces, who recently described Russia as strategically unpredictable, warning that current times are more perilous than the Cold War. In May, former commander Michael Biden stated that President Putin has his eyes on the Swedish island of Gotland. If Russia takes control and seals off the Baltic Sea, it would have an enormous impact on our lives in Sweden and all other countries bordering the Baltic Sea. We can't allow that, Biden said. Sweden applied to join NATO following Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, officially becoming the alliance's 32nd member in March. Russia has issued numerous threats against NATO and its partners. Last month, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov declared that Moscow is fully prepared for conflict with the alliance's Arctic members, including Sweden. Tensions escalated in May when Russia briefly proposed altering its Baltic Sea borders only to later retract the plan without explanation. Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban claimed on Friday that leaders of the European Union want to overthrow his government. Commenting on discussions between members of the European Parliament and Orban, the Hungarian leader said Ursula von der Leyen and Manfred Weber announced that they want to overthrow the Hungarian government. They declared that they wanted another government. Because this national, sovereign Hungarian government is not good for them. Orban is facing increasing isolation within the EU for his position on the war in Ukraine and allegations that his government has systematically rolled back Hungary's democratic checks and balances during his 14 years in power. Brussels wants to delegate a socialist and a member of the People's Party into the future Hungarian government, who will support the most important objectives of Brussels, which are the causes of the conflicts now, Orban said during his weekly comments for Hungary's state broadcaster on Friday. Orban has long been at odds with the EU over what the bloc sees as his curtailing of democratic rights, and he has increasingly come under fire for his close relations with autocracies like Russia and China. Two years ago, the parliament declared that Hungary under Orban had become a hybrid regime of electoral autocracy, taking it out of the community of democracies. Yet Orban this year successfully formed the Patriots for Europe group within the parliament, uniting far-right parties from around the continent to form the third largest group in the EU legislature. És azt is megnevezték, hogy kikből álljon ez a leendő, mondjuk úgy, hogy brüsszelita kormány, mert ez a nemzeti szuverenista magyar kormány nekik nem jó. És ezt nyíltan megmondták, én gondoltam eddig is, hogy ez van a fejükben, hogy nem kell Nobel-díjasnak lenni, hogy az ember ezt kitalálja, de az, hogy ezt nyíltan belevágják Magyarország képébe, vagy a világ képébe, hogy ahelyett, hogy Európa ügyekkel foglalkoznának, ők egy tagállam, kormányát meg akarják buktatni, és helyette egy másik kormányt akarnak, azért ennek a, ennek a nyíltsága, a szégyentelensége az azért szokatlan.
Mi lehet ennek a kedves? Be akar delegálni Brüsszel a leendő magyar kormányba egy szocialistát, meg egy néppártit, akik majd támogatni fogják a legfontosabb brüsszeli célkitűzéseket, amelyek éppen a konfliktusokat okozzák. Hogyan lehet, vagy miként lehet a valódi programpontokról beszélni, mert ugye azért... Na de mi is itt vagyunk. Tehát nem oda Buda. Tehát lehet, hogy ők Brüsszelbe ezt szeretnék, de a magyarok meg nem ezt akarják. És lehet, hogy ők ide akarnak delegálni egy kormányt, a magyar szocialistából, meg a Tiszapárból, tehát ez a magyaroknak is lesz még egy-két szava, és mi ezt nem fogjuk tétlenül nézni. Tényeket mellőzve, gyűlölködve, mellőzve azt, hogy miért vagyunk ott. Az első és legfontosabb dolog, hogy én bejelentettem az ellenállást. Tehát, hogy ezzel a brüsszeli tervel, amely egy ilyen kormányt akar delegálni Magyarországra, ezzel szembe fogunk állni. Lesz, ami lesz, vállaljuk az ezzel járó konfliktust. És ezt kellett velük megértetni. El fogják ezt fogadni, mert látni fogják, hogy ezen a csatán ők rajta vesztenek. Új gazdaságpolitikáról is kérdeztem Orbán Viktor miniszterelnök.